This is the end of a story, a story that was 40 years in the making, about a girl from Indiana who grew up on a farm, who had a dream and followed it to Nashville. In chasing her dream, she met a boy and they fell in love. And in time, with her sweet voice and his words, they built a music career. And even more than that, a life together in a farmhouse in Tennessee. It's an end to a story that we never saw coming. A love story that started in a church with an audience of a few and ended with millions of people watching, hoping, and praying with us for a different outcome. But this is not just the end of a story, it is also the beginning of another one. A story about how the same man had to pick up his little one and walk on, and keep trusting that the God who let them be part of this story was about to start writing a beautiful new one. It is said that time changes everything, and I guess it does. But in other ways, it hasn't changed much at all. We are still in the same old farmhouse as before. The furniture has moved a bit, and we've added a porch and poured some concrete, but most everything else is the same. The potting shed I gave Joey for her 30th birthday and the windmill she gave me for my 40th are still standing. So am I. A bit older and grayer, but I'm continuing to step forward and take life a day at a time. Our farm is in a little community an hour south of Nashville, near the city of Columbia, which most people call Mule Town. The few acres we started with has grown to a hundred now, and my two younger sisters, Marcy and Candy, and their husbands live on the farm too, on either side of me. We all do life together and have dinner at my house or theirs a couple of times a week. Though Marcy had a stroke a year ago, she is fully recovered and back to running our little family restaurant, Marcy Joe's Meal House, along with the bakery she opened nearby with her son, Michael where they continue changing lives one bite at a time. We still plant and harvest a garden each summer. Though they've not been as big or as fruitful as when Joey was here, the time we spend digging in the soil together helps to root us in the land as much as it does the vegetable seeds we plant. Fried chicken. Four springs have turned to summers and four falls to winters. And though we weren't sure it would, a beautiful life continues to unfold around us.
This past summer was the 20th anniversary of us being here at the farm, and we had a big gathering with our neighbors and friends around the Hardison Mill community we live in to celebrate. In some ways, it feels like time is moving very slow, but in other ways, it seems like it's flying by. Four years of my life isn't that long, but in another person's life, it's forever. Our little girl, Indiana, who was two when her mama passed away, just celebrated her sixth birthday. She has gone from a crib to a little bed to a big girl bed. From her teeth coming in to already losing a couple. From not knowing how to crawl at two to running all the way to school. And from talking with her hands. Say please, please. To full conversations with us. Happy Father's Day, Papa. And now learning to read. I say more. She still has the same big personality as she had before, maybe even bigger if that's possible. Yeah. Full of life and laughter and love, but also easy to get her feelings hurt and in need of Papa's arms to hold her. She loves her dog Ranger and helping feed the horses and is also known to break into dancing in the middle of a Disney movie or any other time music starts playing. And she loves her big sister so much. Our older girls have been a tremendous help to me. Heidi is 33 and Hopi is 31. Both beautiful, independent women following their own dreams and building their own lives. Fortunately, they don't live far away, and we get to see and spend time with them often. Good job. Another one. One more. How about that one? They are all incredible kids, teaching me to see beyond our differences and love greater, to fear less and trust more, and to have faith, even when it's hard to understand. This is the unfolding story of the life we are building together as I try to make a difference and live each day like it's my last. I am 54 years old now, and though the voice inside me feels much, much younger, the lines around my 